enjoy getting outside and exploring with your family, but you want to know more about nature in your own backyard. In these Explore Score videos, we're going to show you how to do just that. In this video, we're going to teach you how to explore for the Western Rhinoceros Beetle. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and send it to a friend. For findability, I gave it a 1 because they hide under logs and leaf litter, so you can't see them that much, and they're rare, really rare. We only found two in the five years we have been here. They live in Mexico and southwest United States. Do we find them more often dead or more often alive? Dead. I know such a you. I gave Handability a 3 because they do not bite and what's cool about them is if their horns are sharp enough you may get poked and their underside is so furry. So soft. For awesome adaptation I gave it a 2 because the males fight each other with their horns to get a female. You're using the next defense against me. I got those quite fitting in the rocky terrain. Terrain. The total explorer score of a rhinoceros beetle is a two because we don't know about their awesome adaptations. We know that they're easy to handle, but they're super hard to find. It's called a rhinoceros beetle because it has a horn on its head that looks just like a rhinoceros. The bell's still, but not the females. The adults of the rhinoceros beetle eat fruit, leaves, and sap, while the larvae eat a dead plant matter. The total lifespan of a rhinoceros beetle is one to two years. When they are disturbed, they rub their outer wing on their abdomen to make a hissing sound. Wait, rhinoceros beetles can hiss? Have you ever heard a rhinoceros beetle hiss? No. Why not? Oh, uh, because we need to find them dead or about to die. Because we never find them. Do you think it'd be scary? What do you think the hissing sound sounds like? Mm. Maybe? No? Maybe, uh... <laughs> oh, nice. So how in the world do these beetles survive winter? How do they survive it? that they dig down into the soil it's kind of like a kind of hibernation, but it's called diapause. Western rhinoceros beetles are a type of scarab beetle. Beetles are in the family Scarabidae. What's cool about the scarab beetles is that they were worshipped by the ancient Egyptians. The Egyptians worshipped a dung beetle, which is also a kind of scarab beetle. They worshipped the dung beetle because, just like how it rolls its ball of poopy, <laughs> the sun god rolls the sun across the sky. The sun god's name is Kepri. We know so little about the western rhinoceros beetle, but here's what we do know. It has a dignity prominence, with a emerging apex in the male with relatively long bastoni. In other words, we did not know anything about the Western Rhinoceros Beetle. I cannot even pronounce half of those words. Hold on. This is so much so little. Okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 